we've never had all the sports firing at the same time. Yeah. Then, if you're a sports fan, there's so much to watch right now. What do you think? And I, for me, there's some sports I really like it. I know this is just me, and I'm not as obviously. I'm a peripheral, peripheral UFC fan. Sure, I like it without the fans. Me too. I like hearing it. Me too. I like hearing the fight. I almost prefer it, which is strange. I prefer it so much more. For me, honestly. I can concentrate on the fight more and like what's happening. I love in, in some of the body shots that I wasn't sure the kicks that I wasn't sure. I'm like, does that really hurt when you hear it? I'm like, I know it's great. God, also you hear the coaching yes. too. Like it's, I, I, I think there's not a better product as far as sports go. What sport without do a you crowd? think? What sport do you think as a player misses the crowd the most? That's a good question. It's going to be football because yeah. if, if you're, Let's say you're, oh, we'll use my alumni, University of Colorado, and you're playing Alabama, and Alabama's this powerhouse, and you're, you're playing at CU. You're playing a home field advantage. Sometimes you can deal with the momentum, and they, it might take your team to another level yeah. where you get momentum, and you get a fumble, then you you know throw a pass for a touchdown, and you got that momentum. Well, now there's no momentum. Yeah. That, the good team's probably going to whoop your ass. It's all 99 neutral times fields. out of 100. Yeah. Like, it's like the good team's going to win because there's now there's no momentum. There's no crowd to uh, inspire the kids. Like, yeah. especially in call. In college. NFL, is, as pro as it gets, they don't give a fuck about crowd, nothing. They're pros. Do you think, they don't do you care. think basketball do? You think the ba you think the professional basketball, basketball does? Basketball is a, uh, it's a better product. I think now that basketball is in this bubble and everyone's had a chance to get healthy and there's no crowd. So for a team like the Clippers or the 76ers, 76ers were awful on the road. Yeah. Terrible team on the road. And B.J. Simmons was hurt. Now they've had rest. There's no road games. Everything's just neutral. And they are they were the best team at home. So it's like now they're a contender. You know what I'm saying? So it's now so crazy. And then, oh, the L.A. Clippers. When the Clippers played the Lakers in L.A., even if they said it was a Clippers home game no. and the Clippers, it said Clippers on the, on the court, it was still a Lakers home game. Now that doesn't matter. Now the Clippers, they don't give a fuck. Now nobody's booing or cheering. So the Clippers, to me, would be the favorite. I got to tell you, I've, I've been watching some of the basketball, and I wish, so the mics that they used to have closer to the floor, it feels like they took away a little bit. You it know why, like they right? they didn't want you to hear them swearing. Correct. Because yeah. well, the, the, they've picked up on LeBron a little bit, and uh, I think it's, good, again, a reason why I like no crowd and a lot of sports. I want to hear the trash talk, dude. I want to hear the trash shot. They, I know, but they they if you notice when the games for like last week Thursday night when the Lakers uh, played the Clippers or whoever it was, LeBron they people didn't realize how much of a shit talker. Yes, yeah. he, he was saying bitch and blah blah blah, and people were like, oh, this is great. Now they're like, uh, uh, uh we yeah, got yeah. to protect it because guys are gonna say some shit. They man. do, but 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 you know what? Guys, cuss like a fans? motherfucker. Oh, come and they. My I, thing is, let it go. I want to hear the shit. Here, talk. Here's here's what's interesting. You tell me where you fall on this. So baseball played with it a little bit, where you know everybody took a knee, and you know the brave thing to do now is actually standing for the anthem, crazy. which is insane. Yeah. The world we live in right now, to each its own. But no one's gone, gone harder in the paint than the NBA as far as mixing politics and sports. Yeah. So when you turn it on, everybody's taking a knee unless you're uh, George Popovich or uh, you know, very few guys uh, are standing for the anthem. But it's Black Lives Matter on the court. I'm fine with that. That's what everyone do. Their jerseys, now it's a, uh, Black Lives Matter on the jerseys yeah. or defund the police or whatever the hell they want to put on their jerseys. So now politics are mixed in with the NBA because what the NBA is doing is – because it's a younger audience, they're listening to social media. Yeah. They're going, man, we got to do something here. But they don't realize social media isn't the end all be all. Because one in 50 people are on social media. You know that? Yeah. So if you walk outside right now, one in 50? One in 50 is on Twitter. One in 50. So this woke crowd, that doesn't speak for the majority. But the NBA is trying to make those people online happy. Right. So they're doing all, mixing politics and sports. Well, what they don't realize is that's not the real world. It's important, but it's not the end all be all. Yeah. So more people watch the opening to the Major League Baseball than they did the opening to the NBA, which has never happened before, ever. I there, I think a couple things. Now I, the, uh, here's my thing. If, I'll, I'm going to watch it regardless. Me too. I don't care what the hell they do. But just based off the ratings, if you're uh, the commissioner of the NBA or your NBA owner, you got to decide what's important because if it's bottom dollar. You can't mix politics and that, politics and that, because the nation has spoke and they yeah. didn't tune in because they're sick of it. 
here's my thing man and that doesn't mean that the nation doesn't think black lives matter yep. that's not important they just don't want it at that one time when lebron is facing Kawhi. they want one outlet where they can just watch basketball see i see all of that i also see like you know it's so funny what we consider to be political because you, the fact that we think black lives matter is 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 now considered politics is oh is is so crazy to me because that means it's drawn are we saying that statement you have to be on one side or other politically which yes. i think is crazy for what they what what it's supposed to mean but who Be created that i know but here's the other thing the president of the united states here's the other thing like i i have articles of clothing that have the american flag on them do you know that when i wear those now i and i walk down the street people will scream fuck trump to me oh, because the american flag has somehow become political also somehow the if you're wearing an american flag you're you're automatically an extreme but right. when i get off stage at the lap factory right away you go bro i figure out what you look like i'm like what this is front of a bunch of other comics i'm like what you're like you look like a rottweiler we got a shit together oh you do bro yeah come on man. i'm just saying dude grab that mic son you do, <laughs> bro, look.